viewers, Mike Money Gaming here, and I bet you have not been expecting this game for a long time. Or, in other words, you have been, I just lost track of what I was trying to say. Anyway, though, um, this game, which has been on a long hiatus for a while, um, which I will be explaining in a minute, is being brought back because of something that I just accomplished while off screen. Um, I haven't actually been playing this game much. I will explain this in, like, like this. Um, so, from the last time that we've seen this game, I played off and on for a while. Yes, I did. I mean, I said I did, and I did. But then I got so tired of the game, like so burned out, that I stopped playing altogether. And that's why you haven't seen any videos of this game, just because I was just so burned out about it that I put it down and just stopped playing it. Oh shit. Well, you're gonna see what I just, uh, accomplished in a minute anyway. Um, so let's just go over there and search since I brought it up. As you can see, we now have a new sword in our menu, as you might be wondering, wait, wait, there's another sword that I remember seeing, where is it? Well, the Macho Sword was it, and I built it up off screen. Now, here's the thing. Um, although I did do that, um, the funniest thing about it is that, um, I felt bad because I, like, had the animation do it off screen, and I was like, oh, well, I probably should have shown that, but whatever. Um, just in case you're wondering, to be able to get it to the next level, this is what we need. And sadly, I don't have any of this stuff. So we don't have a way of which to, you know, level this up as of right now. But that shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, we got enough of the abilities that it shouldn't be much of a problem. And my assumption is that um, with this sword, even though it's not the most powerful sword that we could possibly have at this point, we might be able to give the final boss another try. And I know I said before that I was like planning all this bonus stuff. That may actually not happen now. Um, I mean, unless you let me take a really good hiatus from the game, then I might come back and do it. But I know I said that I would show you a lot of the weapons build-ups just to like show you what they get to, like any of the unique ones that we haven't seen before, I would show them off, but I honestly don't think that that's really going to be a thing that's going to happen, you know? Just because of the fact that um, a lot of these weapons would take forever to level up, and so I don't really think that I'm going to be able to accomplish that. Especially the Sun Sword, because a lot of people actually uh, say to me, now, I don't know if it was you guys who told me, or if it was something I read somewhere, but something told me that the Sun Sword and its... and all the power that you get for it, like, you know, all the trouble you go through for it, actually isn't worth building up after all. Um, like, you have this special build-up for it, yes, but it takes so long that you may as well just say forget it, because... Um, I think it just goes straight to an ultimate weapon, let me see. Um, crap, I'm gonna have to do this real quick, hold on. Come on. Yeah, it goes into one of the um, ultimate weapons called the Big Bang. Um, the problem is, though, um, let's see, the Big Bang's, uh, like, no, actually, the Big Bang's not even a final weapon, it comes into the Sword of Zeus, which has a power level of 199, but that's, like, the most basic of basic ultimate weapons, um, you can actually get one that has a level of 350, but that's not until you finish the game fully, like, you know, do the extra stuff at the end, which I will probably still do that. But, like, um, like the sword that gets made after the Aga sword, which is the Atlamilia sword, um, isn't even a final weapon either. And it's 
like final thing is like final strength. Let's see, is yeah, 155. And so it gets surpassed by a lot of the other stuff too. I mean, I don't know how you would really consider that much of anything. But like, you know, you have these other options of weapons that you can upgrade, like the Serpent Sword will have some stuff, which actually I need to upgrade this now, apparently. I just never got around to it. Uh, what's it need? Uh, I want to do the... Oh my god, see, like, this is what I was afraid of doing. This is why I didn't want to come back, because, like, there's a lot of explanation that's gonna be going on, so you're not gonna get a lot of this stuff. Tux... Tux Scrimmage? Something like that? I don't know. I think we've had one of those before, haven't we? Um... Heaven's Cloud. Which goes to the Dark Cloud, which is... Then into the Seventh Heaven, which is another one of the lower-end swords that you can get. So, let's see, what's the other one that it goes to? Evil Scythe goes to the Dream Seeker, which goes to... Which would take forever, but I'm just saying, like, just to say... Oh, so they just both go to the Seventh Heaven, so... I guess I could show that off sometime, but I'm probably not going to. Let's see, let's see, um... The Evil Scythe doesn't sound that great. But the problem is, I don't know if I've seen a Tusk image before. Here, let's see, um, apparently not, let's, uh, see if I can tell where you would find one, just, cause, like, you know, if you can find one, then there's no point in getting, like, you know, sending it over. Oh, yeah, it's what you don't want to do, okay. You can get it for, f well, not technically for free, but you can get it at the uh, fishing thing. If you fish enough enough points, you can get one. So that's definitely not worth it. Anyway. Okay. So we definitely want to use the evil size. Uh... Ha! Got it. Which is funny, because the Bone Rapier can be made into that. So, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, that's a tough decision. But yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys about this, because I kind of want to bring it up and just let you know what it is. It just needs magic and ice. Oh, and that metal stuff. Uh, well, I just put ice on something, so I don't have that. That's so metal. Anyway, let's go ahead and just upgrade it. What the hell? Yeah, I know I don't like upgrading it without having the stuff that's supposed to be built up on it, but I mean, I would have done it anyway eventually. <sighs> man. But yeah, anyway, this is the sword that we're going to be using on the final boss, along with, um, let's see, what's another character? Well, he could probably work against, like, the other forms of the boss if I had to use him. So could she. It's just a matter of, I don't know, like, how to do the fight fast enough that, because, like, remember, it's an endurance thing. You have to do it really quick. You can't do it... Uh, in the other fights where you can just avoid the enemy long, like, for long periods of time. Because if you do that, then you end up, um, you know, being unable to hit them. <laughs> the only one that's, like, the lowest is Holy, that's so funny, which I think I just, yeah, I just put Holy on the weapon. But still, that's hilarious. Um, I also just I increased his magic a little bit on it, so it'll be a little bit stronger in that sense, too. But, um, anyway, so, where was I? Where, like, 
On my explanation thing, although, you see, the thing is, I was going to continue on to the final area. Barkhaven Castle, right? Yes. And, um, prepare, you know, for the final fight a little bit and just kind of explain to you um, what happened with this series and all that and why I haven't finished it. Like I said, it's because of the fact that I felt like we, that I like, hit a wall, you know, more or less, and I hit a wall and then I wasn't going to be able to do anything for you guys because I was just getting tired of the game and all that. And then I decided to come back into it anyway and try it again. And so far, so good. That's right, you have the premium chicken stuff. Oh yeah, look at that money we have. We have 11,000. That's crazy. Um, so anyway. Uh, sell the holy water. We won't need that. Period. Um, okay, we have plenty of space to just purchase whatever we want to our heart's content. <sighs> we definitely won't need this either, I don't think. So let's go ahead and that. The bomb nuts aren't very useful in this fight either, but I don't know. I wish I knew where my book was, but I must have lost it because, um, <laughs> like I was just saying, like I've been talking to my friend lately and I was like saying how I was going to be playing this again and trying to beat it. <laughs> and I said, oh, I got the guide, so I'll be able to do this. It shouldn't be too problematic. And then I realized I lost it somewhere. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see, um, you know, I know I bought all this cheese thinking that it would be useful, but something tells me that it's really not, and that we really, oh fuck, I hit the button too many times. There we go. There we go. That we should just replace them with premium chickens. that we would absolutely need. I mean, of course, we might want more of these revival powders. I don't know, though. Do we have any stand-in powders? Just three? We need more of those. Yeah, we got six. Now, yeah, that should help out a, for a little bit. But I don't want anybody to, you know, get dying status, so that would be bad. Um, like I was only using the cheese when I was in like the other areas. I didn't want to waste my one stuff. I shouldn't need repair powder. Um, something tells me a trans feather if we don't already have it would be useful. We do already have some. I don't know. I just really don't know. I mean, like, I know I was going to do this. I, mean, I, I planned on doing this, but I wanted to, like, prepare for you guys first, like, kind of explain what all's been going on and, like, kind of explain what I'm doing before I get into this fight. So, basically, this little short episode, um, well, it's not going to be short now. It's going to be, like, about 20 minutes if I keep going. But, like, basically, I just kind of want to go over everything that we need. Wait, is there any items that I have in here that I can take? Wow, really? <laughs> I didn't have to buy any, I had extras in here. Actually, you know what? Since we don't need them for right now... There we go. Then we want these. So we're definitely gonna need that for the second part of the fight. Uh, if I remember right. Ah, there's two more. Did 
I all have any? Oh yeah, of course the weapons. <sighs> well, okay then. Okay, it's not like I have anything inside my weapons that I would need to power them up for. Wait, maybe his. Let's see. Um, did I? No, I didn't. But I could just go ahead and do it now, anyway. Power up powder is not that hard to come by in this game, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to get us a little extra stuff. stuff ain't gonna help much against this boss unless he's mage type. I don't know what he's considered. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, other than that, I think that's gonna be the best that we can get with him. Um... But yeah, anyway, I think that should do it for now. I just kind of wanted to go over what all we're going to do preparation-wise, um, and just kind of explain where I've been. So when I come back, we will take on the final boss. I'll be like in that room, you know, about to do the fight. Um, actually, I might just try taking them on the for first form just to see if I can do it. <laughs> might want to do this first. Take on the first form just to see if we have a chance, you know. Because remember, um, you saw the first form, but I didn't really do much damage to him. In fact, I didn't accomplish anything at all. He killed me before I even had a chance. It's kind of like the Ice Queen fight. <laughs> anyway, though, um, like I said, when I come back, um, we will see what we can accomplish. Till then, everyone. Bye.